Hey everybody, welcome back to Minecraft Regrowth, and this is episode 6, and today we are off to find the ocean, so I've got my snorkel, I've got my bucket and spade, and my sunscreen, and uh, we've made a sword as well using our Tinker's Tool Table, I'll show you how I did that when I get back, but let's just get straight on with this. Because I've no idea where the ocean is. And let's just check. Yeah, we are going to walk. We're just going to keep walking north until we find the ocean. And I've brought my Horn of the Wild with me. So I'm going to cut down some grass on the way. Because obviously from grass, oh, there's a skeleton over there. Obviously, from grass, we're going to be able to get some drops. And one of those drops that you can actually get is clay. And we need clay to complete the uh, Clayconia task. Okay. Already getting blown up by creepers. I think there's possibly a spider chase, chasing me. No, there's not. Okay, that's good. And... Uh, where was I? Yeah, so we're going to keep cutting down grass on the way. There's some more bow mill over there. Okay, there's the first bit of clay. And I will be back when I have reached the ocean. See you in a minute. Hey, I'm back. Um, I haven't made it to the ocean yet, but I wanted to show you what I found. Uh, this is a wicker man. And basically, it's made of uh, hay bales. And if you put hay bales, once you cut these down into a crafting table, you get wheat. So if you can find one of these, it's a really good early game source of food. You have to be careful because there's actually a spawner underneath. It's a zombie spawner. So uh, just, be, just be aware of that. But I thought I would just show you that. Okay, back again. Uh, this is another really good find. Uh, this is a hobgoblin house, and they always have a cauldron at the bottom here. Now, I'm hoping if I collect that, that I might be able to use that as an early source of iron. I'm not sure, but I've collected it anyway. Okay, another uh, interesting find that I've found is a witch's circle. Now, I've dug down and got rid of the spawners, but you can see right in the middle, you get a dispenser. And if we go into that, we've got some items in there, which we can grab. These will be quite handy. So we've got uh, a cart, some track. But this is what I'm really interested in here. Some essence of certus quartz for magical crops. So that's uh, something we probably could have got later on, but that should speed things up. And I think I'll probably just grab the dispenser as well, just to see if we can use that. Just get that. Excellent. Hey everyone, I'm back and we've found the ocean. It hasn't taken as long as I thought it would. So we're going to just crack straight on because all we really need here is the oyster. And I'm hoping to be able to see one relatively easy from the top. It should be quite visible. Aha, there's one down there. So, you can just see it just down by those reeds. What we're going to do is pop our snorkel on. And hopefully, this should be relatively easy to get because it's not very deep. So I'm just going to dig underneath it. actually need a spade. And there we go. As easy as that. Let's just get out of the water. See what we've got. So we've got a brown pearl. And I think we got the... Yes, we did. We got the pearl oyster as well. So as you can see, we've got quite a good collection of other stuff as well, which I've got from the uh, various grasses that I've chopped down. Got some bones. Got the dispenser from the witch's house, plus some uh, stone blocks. I don't know why I kept those really, but uh, I did. So just going to pop our uh, helmet back on, and I am going to make my way back to base. So I will see you when I am there. Okay, well, we are back home, and uh, I've popped a load of the stuff away that... Uh, 
that we got while we were while we were out. And the first thing I want to do is just quickly grab my quest book and we'll hand in the quest that we've now completed. So first up, let's just get in there. I think it's under the way the world works. Yes, it is. So the clay, we've got our clay. Uh, we need to grab some mystical light gray flowers. Yep, which we've got here. And if we manually submit that, we can now get our clay conia. And then the other quest that we've also completed, I think it was under what the world enables. Yes, it was. So we got our pearl oyster. We can now hand that in and we'll get another seven pearl oysters. Now, before we go on any further, I just want to show you how this uh, Claconia works. So if I just grab a bit of sand and we go outside. Just over by our mana pool. Now, I will have to just pop a bit of dirt down here. We'll pop that there, put our Claconia down. Then if we grab our sand, as soon as we place the sand down, that'll actually turn into clay. Uh, I didn't see that because I picked it up so quickly. And it actually works quite quite nice and quickly. Now, I believe that that, and I don't know how much, but I believe that does use up um, some mana. So we won't be using that too much. But what it does mean is we're not going to have to go out and search for clay by cutting down grass or such for pools within clay anymore we can just use the sand that we've already collected okay so let's have a look at the quest book and see what we can do next so i'm going to go into what the world came to be and the next thing on the line is natural nuances so a number of useful plants are proving troublesome to obtain you wondered if you could employ essence to create these, but a synthetic means of doing so evades you. Maybe you might manage it by breeding crops. So again, what we're going to need to do is get some nature seeds. Let's just go and have a look and see what it takes to make those. Nature seeds. Okay, so for that, we need to mutate some sugarcane seeds and some normal essence seeds. And we need to do that on tilled garden soil. So let's just go and grab our garden soil. Yep, that's in there. And let's go and grab an essence seed. In fact, no, we won't grab an essence seed. We'll just pop our sugarcane down just there. So let's just pop some sand in there. Let's go and grab a sugarcane seed from over here. I'll just grab that from totally the wrong place. And we're going to need some more crop sticks. Let's just pop the sugarcane down first and go and grab some more crop sticks. There we go. And we'll pop that down in the middle. And we'll just wait for that to, to actually grow. So while that's doing that, let's just have a look how we're getting on over here. So, okay, so we've got some cucumber seeds come through. Uh, I think this was our dandelion seeds. Well... Nothing's happened there yet, so let's just pop some more cross crops down there. And this was our red poppies, I believe. Well, nothing's happened there either, so let's just set that up again. And now, while we're waiting for all of that stuff to grow, I think what we'll do is, as promised, let's just make sure, is it light outside? Uh, yes, I believe it's getting light. Let's just pop up here and have a quick look. Wish there was a quicker way of getting up this wall. 
I think, yeah, so the sun's just about coming up. So what I want to do is, as promised, just start mapping out how I'm going to go about the rest of this build. And then, as I said, the actual build itself uh, will do off camera. I'll, I think I'll just start it off. So let's just get back down here and get some of the things that we need. And we are going to need some stairs. But I'm going to need to do them in this chiseled block. So hoping that we can actually do that. If not, there is another way of doing it. So let's just grab those for now. Pop that in the crafting table in a stair formation. Okay, so that doesn't actually make stairs. So what we can do now... There is another mod in this mod pack called the Carpenter's Mod. Now, this is one of my personal favorite mods. It's another uh, visual mod. It, it, doesn't, um, it doesn't add that many uh, new blocks to the game, but it is absolutely brilliant. I love it. So if we go into here and I'll just show you what I mean. So just type in Carpenter's or Carpenter. You can see carpenter's blocks. All of these items are made out of wood. And what you can do is when they're placed down, any full block that you've got, if you right click on the block, then it takes on the texture of that block. I mean, these do do a lot more than just that. But for what we want, that is, uh, that's principally what we want it to do. So we want the stairs. So let's just see how that's made. So we need blocks to do that. And blocks are made by planks surrounded by sticks. So let's just go and grab a bunch of those. And hopefully we've got them. We haven't got many sticks, but we've got some dead wood. So we might as well use that up. And we'll grab some blocks as well. Now we're gonna need quite a few stairs, so we'll make quite a few blocks. Now I don't think I'm gonna have enough on the first go to do this. Let's just pop that in there as well. Let's just put some of those around and see how we get on, how many we can get. Like so. And so we've got a stack of those. Let's just get those back out of there. And now put those in the stair formation. Excellent. So you get basically four for every one. So let's grab those. I made a bit of a pig's ear of that. Let's just do that again. And now we can get the remainder of those. I might as well just use all of these up, actually. So we get another 12 stairs. And then taking our chiseled blocks and our carpenter stairs, and I'm also going to grab just some normal cobblestone, which is going to go underneath the stairs. Let's just get back over here. down onto the other side without killing ourselves what i need to do now the center oh, i should have marked out where the center point is excuse me while i just climb all the way back up again the center point of the wall which is where i want this to start is actually where this torch is so if i just grab another torch so i can see it from the other side and We'll just pop a torch just here and then just back down the stairs, I guess, back down the ladder again, like so. And then we can start to build up a bit of a platform so that we can get our, our stairs coming out. What I'm basically going to do is there's going to be some stairs coming down. Now, they're going to come down from the first part of the wall, sort of like 10 blocks or so can have a bit of a platform then the remainder of the stairs coming out this way and then there are also going to be some stairs coming down to the side 
I think that's going to look pretty, pretty good. And when I designed it out, I thought so. But as I say, I have changed the uh, size of the wall a little bit. So I don't know if that will make it look odd. But let's get the platform made and I'll be back when I've done that. Okay, I've done enough of this just so you can kind of uh, get the idea. So this is, uh, this is coming down like six blocks down to here. And we've got a little bit of a platform. There's going to be some more stairs going down here, sideways to the ground, the same on the, on the other side. And then this will all be filled in. This platform will come out and the stairs will go down to the, to the floor uh, down here. So let's just have a look then at these carpenter stairs and how they actually work. So you grab the stairs, place them as you would do any normal uh, set of stairs. So they're just going to go down like so. That'll do, that's enough. And then you grab the desired block. So in this case, we're using the stone bricks. And then basically, you just right-click once on each of, the, each of the items that you want to, to place that texture on, like so. And then for the for the sides, because I don't want the stairs just to be to be bare, we can have this little bit here, so that's a, a block higher. And then just to make that look really nice, because I don't want it to look all blocky, we can use another block. Now this is the carpenter's wedge slope. Now that's just made using more of the blocks with three sticks down the side. So if we just go into any eye, I can show you how that how that looks. So it's just like that, three sticks here, three blocks, and then you get your carpenter's wedge slope. And that just works in exactly the same way. So let's just get rid of that on there for a minute. Just pop those down. Like so. And then you can again, add in the block of your choice. So again, it's gonna be the stone bricks. And you just click once right click once and there we go and then obviously there will be another one uh, at the floor just here and this will be the sand the other side and then I think you can already sort of see once that's once that's finished that's gonna look pretty pretty good with the uh, with the slope there we'll do something at the top here just to just to finish it off and as I say this stairs will carry on down here. Now the other thing, and I'm going to finish that off. I'm going to finish that off um, in between episodes. The other thing is on the corners, I want to have kind of like a a turret on each corner of the building, and I'm just going to use a combination of the materials that we used already. So the stone panel, that's just another chisel to item. So if I just pop into that and show you. You just take some smooth stone and whereas we've used the small stone brick before all I've done is use the stone panel and that's what I've made the, the flooring with so I'll use a combination of those two items for the for the turrets as well and we'll probably use some more carpenters blocks and then the final thing which I'm gonna do if I can just get back up here is just jump over that Along the top here, I'm going to use something, uh, I think it's called like the collapsible uh, block. Yeah, the carpenter's collapsible block. And what you, can, what you can actually do with that is you can hit it with the carpenter's hammer and you can actually turn that into like a slab, which is either facing downwards or parallel against the wall. And again, you can fill that in with whatever text you want. And I'm just going to paste, place those uh, every other block um, along here. So it gives a, a little bit of a sort of a castly type effect. As I say, I, I'm going to try and do that in between the this episode and the next episode as well. So anyway, meanwhile, when I've learned how to jump up the wall, we are going to get back and see what quests we can complete now. If I can actually figure out where the ladder has gone. 
There we go. So just get down there. And we'll go and grab our quest book if we've not got it on us. No, we have got it on us. And let's have a look and see what we can actually do now. So let's go into quests. What the world came to be. I think we're all pretty square on there. We're waiting for the nature seeds to grow right now. Let's have a look at uh, what the world is made of because we've got one qu one quest available for completion there now, and it's called Infusion Ha. You can combine some essence with a mana infused Ender Pearl and rule the world. Ahem. I mean, you can make a stone which lets you condense the magic of the essence into a more potent form. So what we're going to need to complete that is a weak infusion stone. So let's just have a quick look and see how we go about making one of those. Weak infusion stone. Okay, and that is made by a mana pearl surrounded by essence dust. Now, if you remember, when we go and harvest the um, essence seeds, we actually get the, the dust. So we can just go and grab a load of that. And we should be able to get that quest completed relatively quickly. Like so. There we go. And I just need to remember where I actually stashed my mana pearl thought it was in there okay there it is it's actually in the correct chest for once that's probably why i couldn't find it so pop that in there surround that with essence dust and there we have our weak infusion stone excellent so let's just hand that in uh, in fact no we won't because we need another task so first of all we got the mana pearl then we got the weak infusion stone. And finally, we need to get some weak essence. So again, let's just have a look and see how we actually go about making that. So what we need to do to make weak essence is just put some essence dust around the weak infusion stone, which I've just made. So pop that in there like that. I can't remember how much of it we needed to make. Let's just have a look. Okay, we only needed to make one. And we should be able to hand that in. Okay, so we're going to get an Ender Pearl and some more Weak Essence. And then we can either pick Skeleton Soul Seeds or Weak Essence. Well, we can make Weak Essence, but I think I'd like these Skeleton Soul Seeds. Let's just have a look and see how they're made. Um, that will make my final decision for me. Skeleton soul seeds. Okay, well, they're made on the runic altar with some regular essence, which we haven't got yet, and some runes. So I am actually going to grab those because they look fairly difficult to make, and we'll claim that reward. And now we've opened up a whole bunch of new quests. And first of all, let's see, what do we want to do? Cuprous conduction. So maybe you'll find some traces of copper amongst the fragments of clay you've dug up. So what we need to do is get some more clay, which we can use our clayconia to get for us now. Some floral orange powder and some more weak essence. And for that, we'll get essence of copper. So this is good. We're actually moving fast into the right direction. We're starting to get into some of the better materials now. So let's go and see what of these items we have already, starting with the floral orange powder. Okay, so we've got enough of the plants. I think it was 16 it wanted. Yes, it was. And we need to grab our... Bowl. Let's just clear out some of these items for a minute. Our, our bowl, our pestle and mortar. So first of all, we need to turn that into petals and we're going to need 16 of them. And then we pop that in there with the pestle and mortar 
and we'll be able to grab our 16 of those. Then we can grab our clay. So I thought I had more clay than that, but apparently not. I'm just going to pop those away for now. We've got enough of those. Just need to find where I put the rest of my clay. There it is. And let's manually submit that. And let's claim our essence of copper. Now, essence of copper, I would imagine, is going to require garden soil to grow on. So let's just go and grab our garden soil. I can't remember where I put that now I thought ah there it is so let's just go and get some of that to grow and we'll put that just here so let's dig out a few blocks of that dirt let's pop some garden soil down like so let's till it pop some sticks down hopefully I can plant this don't think I'm going to be able to no because it's the essence I need the seed okay well, let's see if the book tells us how we get the seed, which it does. So that's actually the next quest. So with the copper essence in hand and a runic altar at your disposal, you think you found a way to infuse a seed with the means to grow copper. So what we're going to need to do then is first of all, have a look and see what it actually takes to make copper seeds. Not Cooper, copper seeds okay so we're going to need to use our runic altar for this and we're going to need another three of the essences of copper some weak essence and some essence seed and then that is actually going to make our copper seeds so we can't complete that at the moment well, that's a shame i got a little bit overexcited there about actually getting some metals at last ferric fidelity there seems to be small amounts of iron left in the few bits of sand you found. Maybe you can extract it and imbue it into the weak essence you've created. So we are going to get some essence of iron if we can get 16 red sand, 16 floral grey powder and another 8 weak essence. So if we just go and grab the flowers. First of all, so grey flowers, where are you? So we'll go and grab some of that powder, first of all. So we need, well, I've grabbed too much now, but that doesn't matter. Pop that in there and grab the powder. Remember to grab our bowl out this time. And we need to make some more weak essence. And that is going to require, I think, potentially more essence dust than I've actually got. But let's just have a look. Yeah, we're going to need some more essence dust to actually get that finished off. So we need another five of those, unless I've got any other dust sitting around anywhere which I don't think I have. Certainly not in there. What about in this chest over here? We've got another seven, but that's not going to be enough. So we are... In fact, that's grown already. So let's just go and grab those up and maybe we will... Um, maybe we will have enough. It'd be nice if we did. Okay, I think that's it all. Let's pop back over to our crafting table. Pop the infusion stone in. So 
think we've got potentially we have got it yes we have got enough so we've got that and let's just remind me what else i needed yeah i needed some sand let's go and grab 16 sand gonna pop that away for a minute we'll just grab all of that for now submit and then we're gonna grab our oh we can't because our inventory is currently full let's just ditch that for a minute and grab our essence of iron and presumably to grab some actual iron seeds process is going to be fairly similar to the copper seeds let's just have a look at that yeah again okay so we need another two essences of iron um another essence of copper some more weak essence some essence seeds and that's going to give us our iron seeds so the question remains of how we get further amounts of the essences so let's just have a look and see how we do that essence of copper aha uh -huh. so there isn't a there isn't an nei recipe for that does the book tell us anything ah okay so this is a repeatable quest refreshes on interval two days and zero hours resets in zero days and 17 hours well hopefully that will be minecraft days otherwise it's going to be a fair amount of time before the next episode is out um so the same no doubt will be yeah it's the same for the ferric as well so let's have a look at this last one that we've got on here carbon connection you think the weak essence might be able to imitate the more pure structure of coal if you provide it with an example of charcoal. So for this we need 16 charcoal, some black powder and some more weak essence. So I think we can definitely go and get the black powder but I think we'll struggle to get that amount of essence dust again. So let's just grab that. We're just going to pop some of this stuff back for now that we don't. Uh, that we don't want out immediately. I am going to create a chest just for uh, magical crops, I think, because otherwise we're going to get quite confused here. Let's just go and turn that into powder. So we want 16 of them. And then we put our bowl in, grab the powder, grab the bowl. We need charcoal which we've got plenty of so there's 11 charcoal another five is 16 and unfortunately we need another five essence so these are actually growing really quickly which i'm quite pleased about but not quickly enough so we'll just let that um complete growing again and hopefully we can get enough of the uh, of the essence dust to actually get our weak essence and meanwhile let's have a look and see the final thing i know there's another quest popped up here let's just have a look at that these soft rocks you call slate might contain some traces of tin to imbue into essence so for that we're going to need 16 slate some more light gray powder and some more weak essence Okay, I'm not going to be able to do that for for two reasons. The first of all being that uh, I haven't got enough weak essence. I certainly haven't got enough uh, light grey flowers left now. But slate, I'm not sure. How do we actually go about making slate? I thought slate was the stuff that was outside that you broke. Slate. Okay, slate can be, you can make it back up the other way with four, with four flint. So that will be easy enough. So I think we've got time just to look at one more. And that will be the dye seeds. So let's just have a look and see how they are made. 
this is going to be another mutation. So go into there. I oh, know it doesn't, it uses the runic altar. So we are going to need a whole host of things to make that. So what I'll do is I'll end the episode there. In between episodes, we will collect together the things that we need to make the die. We are also going to get all these uh, bits together that we need to make the weak essence. I re I'm really sort of disappointed that these haven't uh, mutated into the dandelion, see, the dandelions and the uh, poppies. But we've got our cucumber, so we can carry on that strain. I think what I might need to, to do here is uh, get these seeds up and analyze them and then put down our strongest seeds because maybe these aren't our strongest seeds and maybe the chances of a successful mutation hinge on using stronger seeds. I don't know, but, but I'm going to try that off camera. And then finally, out here, I think we're going to set up another couple of farms and the new, because we've got quite a few extra new seeds now. And I'm going to try and get everything up to maximum strength that I've got before the next episode. And then on the build, as I say, we are going to get that completed, the, the bits that I've pointed out. So the, the stair system out here turrets on the corners and then i think we'll be looking good to go into the next part of the build as well okay my apologies this episode has been a bit sort of jumping around because you know we started off going to the ocean and there was a few sort of cut scenes there and we've done a few cut scenes on the on the building etc um please bear with me it'll all come good in the end and in the meantime, thanks ever so much for watching. If you like this video, drop us a like. Obviously, it goes up without saying that I would love it if you subscribed. Take care, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.